It is time for day 16 of our body language challenge. And as I mentioned in yesterday's video where you were creating a baseline for yourself, we are starting to transition into some other content that I haven't shared before, all about authenticity when it comes to your nonverbal behavior. We've been doing relatively easy assignments up till now, observing some behavior, and we're going to move on to slightly more challenging uh, topics because a challenge should take you from one place and bring you to another. If it is a organizational challenge, hopefully you're more organized at the end of it than you started, or if it's a reading challenge and you're reading more and more every day or working out more every day, there should be physical changes that occur. We're going to do the same thing with your nonverbal behavior awareness and particularly about how you are aware of your own habits and what you are doing. Today, I think may be the toughest challenge so far because I have a feeling that not very many of you did a whole lot with your personal baseline. And to prove to you how important this is, today's challenge is for you to find one person in your personal life and one person in your professional life and ask them to tell you what their perception of your behavior is. In other words, you're going to tell them that you're part of this 30-day body language challenge and you are trying to learn more about your own habits. And because they're subconscious, you need their help. If they had to caricature you for Saturday Night Live or some other comedy show, what would they do? to personify you, to become you in a sketch? This is one way to ask it. You can also simply ask them, what do you think of when you think of me? Not uh, language-wise, you're not asking them for adjectives about how uh, focused you are or how uh, accommodating you are to other people's ideas or that you're a great leader. You're not asking any of that. You want them to tell you what you do physically. If you need to ask them, you can even say, uh, are there any gestures that I tend to do repeatedly? Do you think of me as rolling my eyes a lot? Or is there a certain tempo that you think when that you associate with me? Most people associate quickness with me, for instance, and I have examined a lot of my bad habits, and I know what many of them are, both verbally and non-verbally. So I could do a pretty darn good evaluation of myself, but that's what I'm trained to do. Now it's your turn, and one of the best ways to do that is to ask people. And why I'm saying ask someone in your personal life and your professional life is to see how you are different in different circumstances. Part of authenticity is congruency and consistency across when we talk about uh, consistency in our, say, social media. We're looking for consistency across platforms or that when they go to your website, there's some similarity to what they're going to see in your social media, that kind of thing. Here we're talking about is there consistency between your interactions in your personal life and your professional life? How different are you when you turn on your boss hat, let's say, versus your mom or dad hat. So it, we're going to be kind of delving into some very interesting topics here in the next week or so, but this first one is a really big challenge because it takes you out of your comfort zone asking somebody else to tell you how you move. It doesn't have to be a bad thing. You're not necessarily looking for just the quirks and those sorts of things. You're looking for literally your baseline behavior. So what is it that you do often? Which is why the comedy sketch ask tends to work pretty well because most comedians will pick out the thing that someone does often because that's how we're going to recognize them when they're uh, playing them on TV. This happens all the time with our political figures for sure. And if you need some inspiration, watch a few Saturday Night Lives or some other comedy sketch shows where they parody individuals and you'll see what we're talking about. 
Okay, are you ready for things to get a little bit harder and a little bit more challenging? Because you will be transformed by the end of this 30 days. Comment to me if you have questions or uh, some of the breakthroughs that you've been making. I would love to find out about those as well. Take care. We'll see you tomorrow for the next part of our challenge.